Well, since Dick has a voice and uh, Lori's not here, we're going to start with Dick because mm -hmm. in reverse alphabetical order, he's, he's second. <laughs> Doug is going first, yeah. don't you? Okay. Look at um, that. This folks is down in the, uh, uh, the bottoms, 12, you know, the more or less 12th Street bottoms. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> this, you can see it covers the entire building. I never did find, you would see it's Jerry's Wood Sweater Cafe. Mm -hmm. well, or whatever the heck that would be. Um, I looked around and I didn't see any such place, but I love their mural because I like the musicians that you can see uh, far right. You see a bag of popcorn playing the trumpet. You see, a, you see a pickle to the left of that playing the saxophone, which is my favorite instrument. And I think a, probably a potato head with a guitar. And yeah. I missed probably an egg uh, over here on, on the drums. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And, and, and the harmonica? And I'm not, yeah, there's a harmonica over there. It looks like he's an, an official at a ball game. <laughs> it looks like a hot dog to me. Yep. Um, is that cute? Hey, hey, Dick, I've been to Jerry's Woods Weather Cafe when it was a restaurant. It was, I was really sad to see it closed down, but it's, it was a good place to go, especially for burgers and <clears throat> you know, fries and stuff. And it was a pretty big place too. Okay. And, uh, I think it broke down. But well, that's I've been good to there. know that it was somebody didn't just waste all that paint on. No. Something that doesn't exist. This is a very popular place actually from some time ago. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what is on the far left hand side of the picture. Um, they look to me like uh, baked chickens. Chickens. Yeah. What they're <laughs> playing, what instrument they're playing, I do not know. Oh, that's I cute. can't tell. I was thinking it looked more like they were getting suntan. No, they're in a beauty parlor. They're getting their hair done. Oh, okay. Oh, oh okay. okay. There you go. That's, that's better that's than my idea. idea. Wow. <laughs> Curly headed chicken. Right. <laughs> Whatever. You just let me know when you want to move to the next slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move on. I think we've dra drained this one. Um, in the same general neighborhood, um, mm -hmm. very pretty close to the 12th Street Bridge as it comes down uh, from the uh, east to, to oh, west, comes down the hill. I just, I just like the uh, um, the attention they give to these doors, mm -hmm. and these old brick houses, or I mean structures. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Uh, I couldn't couldn't take the uh, Christmas lights off because <clears throat> it's really in July or something. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, but that's all it is. Oh, I think I do see a little no guns allowed down there in that oh, yeah, far yeah. right window. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you ever go there, remember that. <laughs> is, that a, is that a house or a shop, Dick? Do you know? Uh, it's that's just the side of one of the big warehouses or whatever yeah. it was. Uh -huh. They got a lot of shops down there. Yeah, it, at some point it may become a uh, Halloween house, you know. Mm -hmm. that, that's an absolutely beautiful door with all the, mm -hmm. the detail yes. at the top. Mm -hmm. The carving at the top? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thanks. I couldn't, I couldn't resist it when I saw it. It looks like the sides were rebuilt. Yeah. It does, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's probably a much larger swing door. Yeah, probably. Like... Uh, for uh, merchandise or something to uh, be carted mm, out. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good observation. Yeah, maybe the, the these wooden doors came from somewhere else and I just <clears throat> there. Yeah, they're not brand new, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then neither am I. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. This is not Kansas City. It's <clears throat> somewhere down in northeast Arkansas, huh. <clears throat> a little town I do not remember. Uh, a couple of years ago, Kathy and I were making the trip. Uh, I enhanced it a bit by intensifying the colors. You can tell that by the, the green brick down below. Um, but it really covered that whole, uh, almost a block, block of bricks. Yeah, it looks like something else was over on the right side and they painted over it or something. Looks like some letters over there. Mm. Oh, 
possibly. Yeah. Uh, can't tell you. Yeah. I put a little shadow. Yeah. You see how the how on the left side it kind of disappears a little bit, kind of cloudy. Mm -hmm. uh, that was intentional, um, just to give it the old. And, and actually, it does the same thing on the right side. Mm -hmm. uh, so just for effect, aged, yeah. aged effect. That's it. I think that's an interesting name for the cafe backup. <laughs> oh. I really think that's an instruction. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. My error. <clears throat> that, of course, is from the from the tower. Uh -huh. I took the liberty of throwing in some text on some of these images. My my apologies to the photographer if that's <laughs> not acceptable. I love but, that. But I thought it was interesting. I, you know, when you had that Coca-Cola thing, I hadn't realized that was from elsewhere. Since this building used to be called the Coca-Cola building, I thought maybe uh, Coincident. somewhere around the back there was that Coke sign. Oh, no. <laughs> I could, yeah, I could find that town if anybody wants to go take that picture again, you know, I find out where it was. Um, yeah, this is no mystery. Um, it's just one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm curious, how many were never here to see a real Western Auto store? I grew up in Kansas City, Kansas. Mm -hmm. And so I had access, I got bought a lot of tires and tools and stuff there over the years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next one. Next one. Oh, wow. wow. That, I love that it. That is really pretty. Not Kansas City. No, Tucson or some Santa Fe. Santa Fe. Mm -hmm. There is a famous, uh, beautifully uh, decorated uh, street uh, there on, oh, kind of the sort of southeast side, maybe, uh, of town or the, of the business center. <clears throat> so we were walking all over, and this was about this time two years ago. Uh, hence the tree color. That tree is gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. That is. you almost don't see the tree for the postal boxes. Mm -hmm. hmm. They're that's, very the, that's the I color did not I check hope into my, the uh, red flag. I'm, I'm hoping my maple tree in front will turn that color. Come yeah. on. They usually do. Yeah. Okay, that's it on that one. Easy yeah. enough to recognize. Yeah. yeah. Nice shot. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Jonathan, there... how do I move my pictures of the people so I don't obscure the text that you're putting in there? Um, you, you should be able to click on the very top and move, uh, move it around, or you, you probably have an option somewhere to um, Okay, well, I you're, did it you're, once. You're okay, in a face then, different than mine. I can't remember what. Uh, yeah. That's okay. I got it. Except that it now obscures part of the picture. But Well, there, there is a way to not go full screen. So if you go, maybe it's gallery view or, or just end uh, full screen. And it, you should then see the picture on the side and, your, and the gallery on, on the other side. Right. Hey, Dick, were you on the, uh, the World War I memorial when you took that? Is that yes. correct? Yes. Actually, not on the memorial. I was there at the, uh, uh, at the wall. At the wall itself. Oh, okay. Overlooking. Do you, do you consider that one of the best places to take a picture of Kansas City anywhere? Uh, certainly the top of the tower is. Yeah. Is the tower open all the time, or is there... Is there an admission to go up to the tower or? Yeah. No, free. Oh, it is? Hmm. Okay. Huh. And you, as far as I know, you about have to show up to see if they're using the elevator. Hmm. I'll have to try that. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a great scene. That, that's where the uh, Western Auto picture came from was up on the tower. Yeah. Okay. Next one? Yeah, next one. Nice. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
This one I did for uh, art sales. I've sold several of those. Um, it is what's known as, what's it known as? Oh, superimposing. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, uh, the, the, the general scene is similar to where we were before. Mm -hmm. Only taken, actually taken from up the, uh, the scout uh, statue. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Somewhat to the west. And uh, yeah. the plane, of course, is the uh, <clears throat> uh, coffee. Roastery. Roastery, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just try to put the two images together. Takes a lot of work to do that, but it's fun. I didn't know that about having some connection with the engineer that designed the support structure. I have never heard that before. Yeah, Judy emailed me because we used that image to advertise today's session. And Judy Runzer emailed me the information, so I threw it in there that her son designed that support structure. Great. Ah, cool. Oh, there we go. Uh, when I when I have that picture out showing it, uh, people ask me about it, and ask me how I uh, how I did it. And so I, I said the angle is very difficult. Uh, yeah. You have to keep backing away from the airplane to get a view of the downtown district, and by the and you really you have to back up onto I thirty five. Oh, and that that's, no, 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 you that's don't. what that's when they quit listening. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, so are you telling us that this is actually a fake picture? No, it's two pictures molded together. <laughs> okay. okay, just just checking. <laughs> Photoshopped in action. Okay, we can move on. Oh. <laughs> this is not this is not Kansas City, but it's close. Mm -hmm. Um my son is in and out of prison up there at Lansing. Um he works on the electronics, by the way. Um, <laughs> not that I wanted to <laughs> much misinterpret. Thank you. Uh, Clarified. <laughs> this, uh, this is from the um, the east parking lot, uh, shooting farther east, and over there, there the Highway Five is running across the picture from left to right, right to left. Uh, but I just thought that was just the most rural. Mm -hmm. uh, it was back in Jack. January, probably during the winter that I took it. Um, and I think that long red building is part of what I what used to be the women's prison. Uh, I don't know what it is now, but it's I've still got a lot of barbed wire around it and such, but um, I wasn't looking to show it. In fact, you, you can see it, but I want to try to point it out, but it's, there is some there. Um, so this is just kind of a, a fun pick. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's, it's a busy little scene. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. impressive. Yeah, yeah, the green and the red really look nice. Yeah. Um, okay, and Black Angus. You better like Angus. Uh, no Herefords there. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, that, I guess that's, is that it, John? I think so, <laughs> yeah. Ah, all right. Now we're on to Juliet. Hi. Um, this is uh, one of the landmarks of uh, Kansas City. It was uh, completed in 1890. The, um, the, uh, the statue up there is uh, a mother eagle with her young. And uh, <laughs> this, this was uh, Kansas City's first skyscraper. It is uh, 12 stories. And uh, it's, I mean, it's still there and it's solid. Uh, I, um, I'm, I'm doing kind of a riderly angle on this. I was going to have the uh, detective agency in this building uh, when I started my uh, calendar mystery series with January Jates. In fact, the, the office was in there at the first time. But then a friend of mine and I uh, attempted to visit. the new, uh, This is the New York Life Insurance Building, not the New England Building. Oh, here. sorry about that. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> um, 
And uh, so uh, I can't remember who owned the building at the time, but uh, so we, okay. Yeah, this is the New York building. So we went in this entrance here and, uh, and you go upstairs and you get into um, where the elevators are. Apparently this was the first Kansas City building to have elevators and uh, you wouldn't want to walk, you know, 12 stories to, to go to work every day. Uh, it's shaped like an H and it, uh, you go in and now uh, my first tour, we couldn't get that far, but I did take a tour more recently and you can get inside. Now that it's earned, owned by the Catholic diocese, you can go inside into the atriums and look up and there's a beautiful um, uh, uh, glass ceiling up there and uh the first floor that big um uh, um uh, entry hall is available you can go up to uh the second floor the mezzanine uh but that's as far as you can go uh for insurance uh purposes the time that my friend sally and i went there for our tour uh we only got as far as um uh basically the the main floor because they had a museum in the little bank there. And uh, so uh, we also uh, drove the uh, security officer crazy because we <laughs> snuck down to the basement to see where the cafe had been. And uh, he, he couldn't leave his post and he was calling plaintively to us, the ladies, the ladies, come back. And uh, we didn't. Uh, so at any rate, uh, around the time, by the end of January Jinx, I decided to put the um, price investigations down the street to the building, which is the New England building. So you can change uh, pictures. Um, that is the New England building over there on the left side. And you can see that there was a bank down in the basement. You can see the uh, cable cars at the time around 1900. Uh, Kansas City had the third most uh, um, cable car lines in the country after uh, San Francisco and Chicago. And um, if you have ever driven down uh, 9th Street uh, to Main Street, uh, going west, you know why they needed cable cars to hold the cars on the track, because it's really steep. It's pretty exciting in a car, even. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, I decided to, uh, to put uh, my uh, mystery, the, the, I just love that atrium up there on the, uh, top left. And so I thought, this is where they have their agency office. So uh, let's see. Let's go to the next one. Um, yeah, there it is. Uh, the New York, the New England building was the uh, previously the tallest building in uh, Kansas City. Typically at the time it was built, uh, 18, let's see, where did I, I wrote it down. 1887, uh, the tallest buildings were three or four stories high. And uh, this one is approximately seven stories. And it was the tallest building in Kansas City for about three years until they built a New York life building. Um, some uh, some non-writerly people uh, probably wonder why I uh, want to use real buildings in my fiction. It's because it's so much easier to let, to use an existing building instead of, or a place, instead of having to build one for the purposes of my fiction. So uh, I did, I had to do that for my fantasy novel walls. And I just, uh, I'm not, I'm not building a castle again. Thank you very much. So, uh, at any rate, um, so uh, I had my friend Sally and I went in the New York Life Building, uh, uh, and uh, but the problem was we couldn't get inside the offices because it uh, was still occupied 
at least partly. And, but you can see through the window of the atrium. Uh, and there's a person up there on that floor with, the, not the atrium, the oriole. It's an oriole. Um, but uh, I really wanted to be able to see that. And uh, so I did have, um, you can show the next slide, Jonathan. Sure. <clears throat> um, a wonderful resource for a historical fiction writer like I am uh, is the Sanborn Fire Insurance Maps in the Kansas City Library. The, the main branch on 10th is actually in what was a bank about the time that they built the New England building. So uh, you can learn some more. You, I could learn something about the um, New England building and its placement uh, around, let's see, it was about 1900. And uh, I did learn that uh, there was a printing shop next door. I used that in one of my stories later on. But uh, you can see that there was a glass roof uh, somewhere in there. And, uh, but it's really hard to um, make out what's going on. Next slide. <laughs> okay. Somehow or another, I did find the original floor plans for the New England building. And uh, that was a score. And uh, it has um, it has all the floors, and um, uh, and uh, laid out. the The problem is partly uh, that you know it's hard to to gauge dimensions from like holding out your arms or whatever, you know, and I'd say, well, my arm spread is about five feet. And, uh, so would I be able to, how far across that atrium would I be able to reach inside? How big was it that I could, what could I put in it? You know, as far as not atrium, Oriole. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so at any rate, um, then I found out to my horror that uh, not only was New York life building off limits to the public mostly, but that a, um, they were converting the New England building into condos. And I said, yikes, I got to get in there. So I arranged for a tour. Okay, next slide. Uh, I, th I think I took them a bribe of January, a copy of January Jinx. And you can see it's danger, hard hat area. I couldn't go in there on my own. And, but the, um, the business that bought the building to convert it into condos was just up the street. And um, they very graciously um, uh, gave me a tour after uh, the workers had left uh, one day. Uh, so this is the first, uh, first of the tour. My guide is going ahead and uh, I wanna, next slide. We get to back up and see, this is the south entrance to the New England building. And I really wanted to see what the, that beautiful window look like inside and be inside the offices. So, Jonathan, <laughs> there it is. Oh. <laughs> and this is this is obviously in process. Um, I went over to the condo business um, uh, Facebook. No, it was Facebook. It was a website, and they they have thirty eight slides. Um, Unfortunately, uh, my computer froze up after I watched the fifth one, but I did get to see this one as it is now. And notice the beautiful uh, wood, it's just gorgeous now. They refurbished the, the wood and so on. So uh, this is in what, let's see, let me think. Okay, uh, obviously, looking at that window back in 1900, you wouldn't see um, those buildings. 
but uh, you would have seen, I think from there, Reed Hotel, James A. Reed's Hotel on Ninth Street in uh, Kansas City at the time, shortly before he became mayor. Okay, uh, so next slide. Uh, they have kept, that's not a very good photo, but anyway, these are, these are the, the furnaces, the heaters. Every uh, office suite uh, had, had these built in, and uh, it's nice for a writer to know what those things look like. And they have retained these in most of the rooms in the, in the building now that is condos. And uh, by the way, I think they have on the on that bottom level floor where they had the bank, they left the safes. They decided not to take the safes out. So, uh, um, so I don't know how they <laughs> use them exactly. But at any rate, uh, it it was it's good for me to know as a writer where the heaters were uh, because I can arrange the furnishings accordingly. Okay, next screen. I got inside the, the Oriole and I could figure out what the view was. I got inside and I could uh, uh, look around and see what the view was. Uh, west on Ninth Street is just terrific. And uh, I figured out that it was probably big enough that the manager for the um, detective agency could have an easy chair in there and a smoking stand and a Boston fern on a stand, you know, so, oh, you know, I got to furnish it. Um, so uh, next shot. Hey, Julia, can I ask you a really quick question? Well, yeah. you think that will be a, a condo for someone right there, that particular picture? Will that be a condo for someone, you think, once it's done? You know what? Uh, the, as far as I got in the... Um, in the uh, condo business uh, slides, I did get a shot of what would have been my detective agency, the manager's office. So, uh, uh, yeah, they, um, and they, again, the wood is beautiful in the renovation. But one thing they've done uh, with the renovation is that, um, Originally, you could stand on the bottom level and you could look all the way up at the top. So the Oriole spanned two floors. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I had a vague idea that someday somebody could jump down from the upper floor and down in the <laughs> Oriole and run through the office and so on. So did I answer your question? Yeah, I was, just, I was just asking if someone bought a condo, would they have that view? Or yes. They, yeah. Good. Yes. The, uh, there are two of the... Two of the condos that had that view. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so um, so anyway, I was really thrilled. Uh, I, I haven't shown you the rest of uh, some of the others of the uh, uh, um, slides or photos that I took at the time, but uh, it's just really good to, for me to have been inside that. Uh, one of the things that I couldn't tell from the uh, that you can't really imagine from looking at the floor plans is, you know, how it looks, mm -hmm. for instance, if somebody comes up the stairs and looks down this long wide hall west, and what do they see, you know, the light fixtures and so on. And also there is a restroom, or was a restroom, on that floor. And what I didn't know until I was there was, it was a step up. So uh, one of the things I've been working on more recently is the, the hero is really hung over and he decides to wash his face before he goes to the office and he falls and trips into the restroom because <laughs> of the step. He missed the step. See, wow. just all, <laughs> yeah, okay. So the last slide, please, Jonathan. Okay, uh, with this information and so on, the, the this, this is my sketch, you know, and this, this is the office suite. They are all connected uh, down this way, or the 
the bottom one shows the um, the office suite itself. I didn't put the Boston firm in there yet, but you know where the desk was in front of the west windows. Uh, so they had a conference table. Uh, the senior secretary got to be uh, have the desk closest to the uh, furnace or the heater because she had uh, rheumatoid arthritis, bad arthritis, you know, so she needed the heat. Uh, I did know, but anyway, this one is my mock up of the crime scene, which it became in mischief in March. And I decided I cut out little. Um, things of the desks and so on, so I could, and the body, see the body there? Uh, <laughs> at the top, wow, you know, mm -hmm. so uh, I had a lot of fun. And uh, I really enjoyed seeing it on the outside and being inside. Thank you, that's all. Thank you. Any, any questions? Mm. Okay. Well, this wow. is, um, from the balcony of one of the suites at the Intercontinental Hotel. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm a member of the Northland <clears throat> Photography Club and they run a suite every holiday season. And then we yeah. all pile in there and, uh, and take turns getting out on those tiny little balconies to get some shots. So I had not ever done any night photography to this point. So I was really, uh, they were really helping me uh, with all the technical problems uh, of it. So this this is an exposure of about one and a half seconds yeah. um, with a 24 millimeter. John, when, when was this? Was it? Uh, December 7th. This year or past year? Yeah, 2019, yeah. December 7th. Freezing yeah, I... cold, 30, 40 mile an hour wind. It was brutal out there. And I didn't know if my camera was going to, was actually, it was so cold that I, I was concerned that, so this is all a, quite a, a learning experience for me. And um, it's much sharper than that in the original. I'm disappointed with how it's presenting here because it's, it's really uh, pretty, pretty good. Okay, so the next shot, please, is um, uh, also a freezing, bitter, cold, icy cold, and I was trying to get over the to the bank as uh, as you all were describing as Dick was describing it a while ago to get a shot of Union Station. It was so icy, so frozen that we couldn't really get to the best vantage point. But this uh, mm -hmm. shot really struck me, and this is this is a part of the evening blue hour. Photographers love yeah, it's beautiful. The morning or the evening blue hour, and um, so this was a three and a half second exposure. It, again, in in the original, it is really sharp. So I guess in sending uh, the images, I, I uh, they they sort of uh, uh, became fuzzy. Uh, and the next shot is a four second exposure of Union Station. Now it's so icy there that I couldn't get to the best vantage point to see the city skyline to the yeah. left, yeah. Uh, which would have been a much, much better angle um, to, to have gotten this. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I tell you, there was a lot of uh, risky behavior in taking these five <laughs> shots. So whether uh, dangerous neighborhoods and had the security guards and police called on me as I <laughs> prowled around at night in Kansas City. <laughs> And it was really tasking for the equipment that I have. I, I, um, I think it's the next shot. Go ahead to the next one, please. Um, oh, that's nice. So this is from the corner. Well, it's a bridge over the interstate at 16th and Summit in KCK. This is not a good neighborhood. And so we, my club has all these meetups, sometimes two or three a month. And somebody figured out the angle of the moon at that particular time. And we all got down there to 16th and Summit to be able to get the moon in, in the uh, end of the landscape as it rose. So um, 
to get this shot, this is quite a wide angle shot. We were standing on a bridge and the bridge was actually moving. You could feel the bridge move, just small bridge. But it moved enough to where these long exposures uh, made it really difficult to, to get a good sharp picture. Uh, the original is very sharp, but um, what I loved about this is it, as you can't see all the way to the right, it's this is Bartle Hall where I worked uh, as a part of my uh, a career as a chef. I worked there so many times. Uh, and and I, I like the fact that this documents the length and breadth of, of Bartle Hall. And uh, let's see what else that I want to say about this. Okay, go, go to the next one, please. Before you do, before you do, uh, um, I want to give congratulations to that team on the far left. Yay! Yeah. Well, that, that was another thing that we were doing was, you yeah. know, the, the hair curlers were lit. Everything in Kansas City this particular night was lit with the, uh, mm -hmm. celebrating the, the, the wind. But it was about the moon that we were most... Uh, <laughs> concern and that's a really a serious technical problem for a night photographer because the moon is so doggone bright if you if you uh, have a very very short shutter speed very very fast shutter speed to get the ca to capture the detail on the moon surface you won't get any detail on the earth's surface so you've got to either blow out the the moon and to get the scenery and or or the or make two two pictures and then superimpose a picture of the moon on that as i think the next one will will, will show that more more clearly oh, so this is um from my neighborhood i live in the northland just north of the downtown airport so you're looking at, oh. at what you johnson countyans don't see often uh yeah because you probably don't make the approach into downtown from this yeah. direction across the Broadway Bridge or the Bond Bridge. Yeah. But this is what I see, uh, and this is how I think of Kansas City and the Kansas City skyline. Um, on the far right under our, under our uh, pictures uh, is the BMA building, the old BMA building, and, and this, is, um, this was taken with a, a 24 mil, mil, millimeter lens, so it's a quite... Uh, that's, that covers a lot of distance right there. And another shot in the morning, uh, in the morning blue hour. Okay, uh, one more, I think. Does John, does anybody remember the name? Oh, the, uh, hey. uh, the name of that tower in the middle, which is the Channel 5 tower? Yes, the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Serious. Okay. And uh, I, I've, I think it's uh, one of the most spectacular landmarks that we have. Uh, they don't light it like it used to be because they can't afford it. I'm missing a shot. Uh, I had the shot of the hair curlers. Uh, is, it, is it not in the, in the ones that uh, I, <clears throat> I I think everything that I have is in here. Uh, give me one second to double check, see if I missed something. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, that's all I've got. I, I just had uh, five shots from you. Yes, but we only saw four, I believe. Which one did? We didn't see the close up of the hair curlers. The hair curlers. Um, I don't have that one. Okay. I have the plaza, the World War I Museum, the Union Station, the, the distant view of uh, the, sky, the two, two sky panoramic the views. West, yeah, yeah that, that's all I have, I'm sorry. So I'll tell you about it because um, the shot uh, is a close up of the, of, the, of the hair curlers and the power and light building together, the, the, four, the five uh, buildings there. Uh, I shot it with a 300 millimeter lens um, that I that I, I didn't have such a thing, but so I rented it. And it is really interesting to see the detail on on the on that Art Deco power, Kansas City Power and Light building, and then to see the detail on on the hair colors. Really, one of my better shots. 
again, the moan is blown out because you can either have a shot of the detail of the hair curlers and the power and light building and no detail on the moon or vice versa. And so um, I, I, I was really proud of that shot. I wish they had shown a, a, a sharper, I, I sent them maybe into low a definition. So thanks, thanks. I, I'm happy to share my night shots with you. Uh, give me one second. I think I went back and I did find it and I don't know how I missed it. Um, <clears throat> give me a second, see if I can figure out how to, <clears throat> I'm going to stop sharing long enough to. We're going to, we're going to dock your pay, Jonathan. <laughs> Pardon? We're going to dock your pay, friend. Yeah, be my guest. <laughs> so, John, is photography a new hobby for you? It is. I bought a camera uh, May of uh, last year, and I have, I give myself a photo assignment every day. Oh, wow. uh, something. Uh, to, to do. Usually it involves wildlife, uh, but um, a running assignment that I have are night scenes of Kansas City. And uh, Oh, there you there go. There it is. That's is neat. that the one you're talking about, John? It is. Thank you. So, so that is um, a perfect uh, timing that my uh, club members did to get us, to get us there safely at a, a meetup at 16th and Summit on the bridge uh, yeah, with the moon that's going yeah. to be there. And then uh, all of the expert photographers and many of the photographers in the club are professionals. So, I mean, there's true expertise. And I was brand new with, and I had rented this 300 millimeter lens that I had never used before. So I was getting a lot of help uh, from them. Uh, the club is really uh, equal, uh, divided between Sony uh, Nikon and and Canon owners. So I put my tripod up next to a to a, a, a woman who's really expert, and um, she took a quick glance at at my camera and said, "I can't help you, pal." <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, I, that's a very technically <clears throat> challenging shot to get the moon and the and the landscape features. So that's what I wanted to show you. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. <laughs> Good shot of the front of the New York Life Insurance Building, Charlie. Thank you. Um, yeah. My yeah. husband and I attend a lot of the uh, events down at the Central Library and, and wow. coming out of the garage a lot of times you, you see this and so finally one time I had him pull over and I got out and took a picture but you included it in your talk and you covered just about everything I had to say about it. The only thing I might uh, add if anybody's interested is the um, designer who was Frederick Elmer Hill is also uh, was also involved in the design of Grace and Holy Trinity Cathedral on Quality Hill. Oh, yeah. And the convention hall, which isn't there anymore. It yeah. was at 13th and Central, and it, it's yeah. now the parking lot for uh, a yeah. municipal auditorium. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but as you pointed out, it was, it was the first skyscraper. It was considered the first real major movement south of the city. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's had an amazing occupancy, one of which was in 2000, as recent as 2008, it was sold to Great Plains Energy, which is the parent company of Kansas City Power and Light. Yeah. And then it wasn't until two, in 2007, it became part of the National Registry. And in 2011 is when the uh, diocese office and Catholic Charities mm -hmm. headquarters moved in there. And then one, one funny little trivia that I thought was kind of cute. They said that uh, I read that because of the frenzy of excitement that was going on when the building opened, Harper's Magazine reported everything is up to date in Kansas City. Oh, <laughs> that's where that came from. So that's, where, so that's where that came from. Cool. Remember what play that was? Was it Oklahoma? Oh, Oklahoma. Yeah. <laughs> I was in that once. 
<laughs> uh, in Oklahoma, I was a cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the 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 what one one more thing, the symbolism of the eagle. I had never noticed until I took this picture and sent it to uh, Jonathan. I had never noticed the eaglets. Yeah. And supposedly the symbolism with the spread wings was the protection of the eaglets was what the New York uh, Life Insurance Company would do for you. Uh-huh. Oh. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was... I've always been kind of fascinated by the fact that the two really nice buildings in Kansas City at 19, in 1900 were built by insurance companies, and they are still making a lot of money <laughs> off of us. They were in 1900. They, they had uh, uh, typing pools of girls, young women, I should say, uh, typing up, you know, the uh, information, the letters and so on, the, uh, the orders that the uh, salesman brought in from the surrounding areas. Yeah. That looks new. It is new. Is that Ruby? Jeans, kitchen and juicery. Yeah. Jonathan. Yeah. Jonathan. Where did Jonathan go? Your mic's dead, Jonathan. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> we can't hear you. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, let's see. Jonathan! <laughs> Jonathan! <laughs> well, whose is it? It was Jonathan's, but yeah, it's this picture. Ah, uh, well. We can make something up. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty. Now, now he's gone completely. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, laryngitis, Jonathan. <laughs> there he is again. <laughs> oh, shucks. Well, that's a really nice piece, isn't it? Yeah, look at all the characters in there and the variety of the faces. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. I'm just going to run. He says, oh, um, wow. "I'm just going to run through it." Okay. Uh, yeah, this this is uh this is close to to my house. This is on the north side of the Interurban Art House, on 80th Street, and uh, um, yeah, he's got the address up there. Um, yeah, it's fairly new. Mm -hmm. uh, its colors are really bright and fresh. I love those colors. Yeah. yeah. And then that's another one by the same artist, um, scribe. And uh, it balances that. So this is on the east side of concert. So these these are kind of, well, they're diagonally across the street from each other, uh, these two murals. Haha. <laughs> yeah, the last picture. Yeah. That's a lot of pumpkins. Oh, look. Oh, I remember. Oh, that, that. was the tour. Yeah. 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 Croatian. Oh. Huh. Oh, look at that beautiful church and all those familiar faces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, wow. I like that. It's a nice angle. Very nice. Very nice. Mm hmm. 
Yes, Look at that sky. sky. Yeah. The sky is amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's almost a shelf cloud. That yeah. Really <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the zoo. Yeah. What are those lemurs? No. Those are lemurs. Le are they? Okay. <laughs> Alert little rascals, and they've got their own frisbee. Mm, nice. <laughs> yeah. cool. mm. oh. Well, that's interesting. I love that softness of that picture. Mm -hmm. The water is neat. Comments or questions? <laughs> well, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Yes. Thank, thank you, Jonathan. Thank you. Thank you, thank you everybody. I learned so much from you all. Yeah. Good time. Keep up the good work, photographers. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs>